Hello everybody, this is Shane Armandroe from NVIDIA Shield Zone. I'm going to do my best to explain to you how adoptive storage works using my favorite thing of all time, index cards. Alright, so let's assume that you have a Shield TV that has 16 gigabytes of internal storage. It's really 11 after you're all said and done, but hey, who's counting? Alright, so based on the default configuration out of the box, you may store your apps and their related data. You may also store your files, such as ROM images, pictures, whatever you'd like. And it also acts as the, quote, SD card, also known as the data folders. That's images, audio, movies, things that the operating system, Android, wants to put there, like screenshots or recorded videos. So let's say you install a nice, fat, micro SD 128 gigabyte card all right well out of the box it comes in its portable storage so you can put files on it and maybe maybe but probably not you might be able to install some apps on it but for the sake of argument let's say it's purely a file storage so you're saying to yourself hey I've got marshmallow on this thing I'm going to use the power of adopted storage and I'm going to make that micro SD card adoptive storage. What happens? Well, what happens is now your adoptive storage may contain apps as well as app data. And your internal storage will continue to provide other storage space for apps and data, as well as files, as well as your quote SD card or the data folders. What can you put on the micro SD card? Apps, and it will store their uh, appropriate data for you. So sometime during the adoptive storage process, it says, would you like to move data now or migrate data now to this device? Well, yes, I would. But when you migrate the data over, of which there can be only one, right, like a Highlander, that becomes your SD card air quotes. Also, in total with that goes your file storage. That's right. If you plug your device into a PC, if you FTP to it, whatever you do, your local storage is now this. So while it looks like this becomes your entire life, there's still room on here to install some apps and some data. Or you can move these back if you like. That's totally allowed. In fact, it's easy to do. Just remember, if this is attached to this, then this is what you see when you plug it into a computer. Right? That's what you see when you look at it with uh, ADB or you uh, install it uh, onto your PC or you plug it into your PC and you go to look at it. That's what you're going to see is this. This life is a mystery. But you can move this back over anytime you feel like it. The problem is, is if this becomes too big to fit into this, then you're stuck. You can't move it over because there's too much space, too much room being sucked down on these. So you can't move it back to internal storage. So you're kind of stuck there. That's why when they say adopted storage, they say you put the file storage device on the unit and you leave it there. Because what happens, ladies and gentlemen, if you eject that micro SD card? You are left with a 16 gigabyte Shield TV that has no place to store files and it doesn't have a slash SD or a slash SD card folder, which means it's pretty crippled. It won't record videos for you anymore. It won't take uh, screenshots for you anymore because it is missing. It's adopted, yay, adopted storage location that has all this stuff. So once this exceeds a certain space, about 11 gigabytes, you can't move this over anymore. That, that micro SD card is pretty much locked into that machine forever until what, such time as you can remove enough of this so that you can slide it back over here 
Now you can take this offline and the only thing you'll lose are your apps and the app data that's accompanied with it. So let's take a look at another potential scenario. Right? You got a 16 big gigabyte card and you've been waiting forever. You have been waiting for Marshmallow so long, why say so you can do this? Da -da -da -dum. External hard drive, 500 gig. Those dirty bastards at NVIDIA are not going to get my extra 100 bucks. I've got a 500 gig drive laying around. I don't need a Shield TV Pro because I've got that. And when you plug that in, that's what you get. You get a file storage system. And by the way, because it's an external drive, it's locked down by uh, the Marshmallow only certain apps get to write to external storage scenario. So now you get to write files here, but only from the apps that allow you to. That kind of sucks. But I know what you're thinking. <laughs> Suddenly it all becomes clear. Now I can have apps and data over there. I can move that giant four gigabyte, five gigabyte Doom BFG over to that and save room on my internal storage. That actually works, believe it or not, it does. But now you got these things to worry about. Are we gonna leave this here? Because if we don't move these over, then you can't write files to this anymore. You can only let Android put apps over here. So how do you get your files on there? You don't. That's why you migrate your data and bring over the file system with it. Now when you plug this thing into your PC, you can actually copy files onto it. Pretty neat, huh? But once again, if for whatever reason you want to unplug this drive, you are left with a crippled machine that cannot store files or do other stuff. So let's put this right back where we had it. And you know as well as I do, this is going to fill up so fast you're not going to be able to move it back. That means once you've adopted this storage device on this Shield TV, it stays there. Period. But, but I want to copy movies onto it. Nope. But can I move some ISOs or some ROM files over on my PC? Nope. Can I use this hard drive anywhere else? No. So it's adopted. You're stuck. So, yeah, it, it, it's kind of a cool idea, but an implementation, it's not exactly perfect. You know what you're thinking. You know, I got a better idea. You know, let's move some, let's work the whiteboard a little bit here. Let's take the micro SD card. Let's make that the adoptive storage. Let it have the apps and data, and let it have, we can actually, you know what, we'll keep our files and data over here. That's probably a safer spot for it. And then, da -da -da, 500 gigabyte drive, and we'll keep our files on here. Now you can have your, uh, your, uh, uh, your, your ISOs and your other such files over there. Now that still doesn't mean that you can use your shield to copy files over here, because it's under the, it's under the protection of the operating system. That's when you need a little tool known as SD fix which by the way requires root you apply that to the equation Chunk. now you're back in business now you can write to these external hard drives now you can do what you need to do remember this micro SD card continues to only store games in it or apps and its data right so putting 128 gigs in there might not make sense to you you might want to put a 64 gig in there Something to just hold a, a plethora of games, right? Remember, this micro SD card is locked to this device. Once it's locked, you can't take it out. You can't go bring it to your computer. You can't stick it in your camera and take a couple pictures on it. It is, it belongs to the Shield TV. Now, if you think this is confusing, so do people like Samsung and LG who are removing adoptive storage from their uh, Android M implementation of it, right? So, of course, you could always do a couple of other things. You could adopt this, move these over. You still need this, though. Pretty Well, you don't really have to have this, but you're probably going to have to have it at some point. 
So now you're back to using your paltry little internal storage to hold a couple of games or whatever, just something to fill the memory so it's not being wasted. You put all your loose files on here, and this monster drive becomes everything. It holds apps and data. It holds your data folder, so when you plug your computer into the shield, you get to see that. When you want to write loose files to it, you're writing it to this. And you can still store tons of apps and data on there. But again, this device is now locked to your Shield TV or whatever device it is that you adopted it onto. Adoption's forever, right? It's just like adopting a kid from uh, another country. Once you adopt them, they belong to you. You can't get rid of them. Same thing here. Once you've adopted the device, unless you want to format it and lose everything that's on here, it's got to stay that way. Or, of course, you know, you could move them off if you've got room, right? But you can only move between internal storage. This is a good point. You can't do you can't do this, for example. That doesn't work out. It only has it has to be either on internal storage. These two are a pair. I should have just taped these together. These two are a pair. They either have to be on internal storage or they have to be on the adopted storage. They cannot be somewhere in between. You only get one of these two, by the way. You can put five 500 gig drives on there and you only get one. So that's it. So what do I recommend? What's my solution to this whole equation? Right? It depends on what you want to do. Right? It depends on what your needs are. Me personally, I would take, instead of going 128, I'd go like 64, something really, really fast. I would do this action. I would probably leave my files over here and leave this for games and just store files over here. But... And then you could use this, of course, to store files, too. So that's cool. You can always read from this drive. You just can't write to it all the time. Right? So this is good. Now you've got a nice big chunk of memory for nothing but apps. This little paltry memory will be great because you're going to store your screenshots in here. And some games that are installed over here insist on going over there. So some games like Asphalt 8, until it gets fixed to enjoy adoptive storage, you'll actually need to have this over here for it to work right. So this would be the setup that I would recommend to everybody. Super fast micro SD card, probably keep it smaller than 128 gigs because most of those cards are fairly slow, no matter how fast they say they are on the box. Use that for app, for your major data and uh, or your major apps and app data storage, right? Because if you're playing games like Mortal Co or, uh, um, Modern Combat 5, that better be fast as snot or you're going to start seeing slowdown and stutters, right? Um, if you decide to adopt, yay, adopt, over here, right, go files here, move this over here. If this is a nice fast USB drive, you're going to be in good shape. Files won't stutter. It'll all work out. This would be my follow-up plan. Or you could just kind of remove this all together. But I like this as your sort of your temporary drive, right? You can take this in and out go to your PC, put stuff on it, bring it back, and if you happen to have the wildcard SD fix running, then you can easily move files back and forth between here. That solves a lot of problems. And there you have it. That's adoptive storage using index cards. I hope you enjoyed it. Please look at my article on NVIDIAShieldZone.com. Another video is also included, uh, but this is probably the best visual way I can help you uh, represent and understand the uh, whole adoptive storage process. This is Shane Armonroe, NVIDIA Shield Zone. Thank you for your attention.